Noah! Hey, I've been thinking. We've grown a lot since our first video, and we can do a lot better now. You know, I, I agree with you, and I, I think we can take it to the next level. We could call it Noah's Chair Volume 2, like, like with Roman numerals, and take things to the extreme. What's going on? Oh my gosh! Where am I? Where am I? Sonny's has some pizza in Whitefield, New Hampshire? It's been three years. The world has changed. The global pandemic. Sonny's has changed. It's a lot more open, lively. The cheesy breadsticks are the same. They're just great. hair grown, so is my relationship with this chair. Everything improved with my mom, my back, my neck. I had to take it to the next level. Oh, it was yeah. an uphill battle, literally. If you want to be something in this world, if you want to advance with your family and your relationships, you got to take things to the next level. And that's where I was at with my chair. I just had to take it to the next level. I had trials, tribulations, struggles. I fell because I put my heart and my soul into this chair because I wanted to be on the top of the world. I didn't think I was going to make it, but at the end of the day, the hand of God are you I am comrade you see you're doing the trials where it separates my place from me I'm almost there. Hey, do we know that guy? if I could one-up Travis Pastrana on the way up, but on the way back down, I didn't have to worry about my brakes overheating. I've grown out of this chair like a toddler grows out of his PJs. And you know what I'm saying. It doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> I felt like it loved me too. The way it was nurturing and comforting me. But I just can't leave it high and dry. There is someone else for this chair. This chair needs someone with neck pains, cramps, struggles, and a firm tush. <laughs> so I spin around and this is when the story comes full circle because now I own the chair and I'm editing the video. Well, you do have a firm tush.